All right, guys. Now, before the video starts, I just want to say how sorry I am that I sound like utter shit because right now I have a pretty bad sore throat and talking just kills me. So I hope you guys appreciate this. And without further ado, let's get on with it. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? It's your boy, the guy who shows up once every 17 years just to make a random video. It's me. How's it going? All right. So today I got a video on how to fix your Steam games because I had a crap ton of issues with them. So let's get right into this one because as quick as possible. So here's what pretty much happens. You're going to go to your game whenever like, all right, let's go play. You want to click the play button and it says it's running over here. You waited about 17 hours and still the game doesn't freaking pop up. Coolio or oh Julio? Not really. So this has happened to me a crap ton of time. So what I've done over my freaking weeks of research, I've compiled all the ones that seem the most useful to me. And I want to put this all into this one video right now. So this is the one where it says running over here and then um, nothing pops up. Or uh, let's say you want to go play a game and it says you have a uh, graphic issue or a driver issue. Like uh, DirectX or um, OpenGL is not supported. Yeah, this is going to hopefully fix all of that. The list that I put this in is in order for what should work or what's easier to do before you go higher and higher up the uh, food chain so make sure you try to keep these things in order so if this is only a case of like csgo not working or just one singular game not working watch the video all the way through but if you have multiple games not working there will be a time code right around down here that will show you where to skip to for more like general of fixes for multiple games so without further ado let's get right into it Alright, so the most common thing is you go to the game that's not working. You want to make sure you're in this view with uh, the game on the sides and the details on the right side. Right click the game that you want and go to properties. Then go to local files and click verify integrity of the game. So once you do that and you let it run through, it's pretty much going to check through all the game's files. And if anything's corrupt or anything like that, it will uh, re-download them. And this will only take a uh, about a minute. And if anything's missing, it will re-download them. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So now that that's done, you want to go back. You want to hit play. And if that works, great. Congratulations. You now go ahead and play your game. But if that doesn't work, let's go try something else. You want to remember after every attempt, you want to go into your tax manager, find the game that's not working, and make sure you end the task. So let's say Groove Music was the game that was not working. You want to make sure you delete it so the game is no longer running. Because if you try it, Steam still sees it as it's running and will not let you open the game again. So if that didn't work, you want to go to the game, right click it again, go to properties, go to local files and go browse local files. So once you're in the game that's not working, find the .exe file, the executable file for the application or game and you want to delete it. All right. So then just delete it, close out of this and go to verify integrity of game files again. This will force re-download the actual executable file in this case that got corrupt and it will download that and then try it again and hopefully it will work. So as you can see, uh, after I deleted it, it did reinstall the .exe file and then you want, you want to do, go back, try it again. If it doesn't work, well crap, let's continue on. But if it does, congratulations, you'll be on your merry way of playing. All right, so let's move a little bit higher up onto the scale. Just in the very odd chance that, you know what, maybe it's not the game, it's Steam. What you want to do is close out of Steam completely. Go into Task Manager, and you want to find Steam Bootstrapper. So right here, so Steam Client Bootstrapper, you want to delete that task, end the task, and all of Steam will close down. What this will do is this will make Steam force update itself like that. So if there's an update for it, it will make it re-update, which would be great if that was a problem. So go ahead, let's go back into your game, and let's go try that shiny new game out. And if it works, cool yo, cool yo. If it doesn't, well, let's keep on pushing on. So we want to go back in the properties for this next fix and go to set launch options. So right here, what you want to type in is dash no vid, all one word and hit OK. Then close it and then try it again. If it works, great. If it doesn't, let's go back, go into properties, go into launch options again, delete that. And this time I'm going to put in dash safe and try that. And if that doesn't work, Go back here and make sure you're ending the task of the game that's not working so you can keep on trying it and go put dash auto config all one word again then hit okay try it and see if that word does it now if that does do the trick 
the cool yellow Julio, congratulations. Now make sure you do these one at a time and not in a bunch, otherwise bad things will happen. So none of those tricks worked for your sorry ass, but it's okay because I still got more tricks. Let's keep on going. So what you want to do for this next fix is completely close out of Steam again. So you go into Task Manager, find Steam Bootstrapper, and uh, shut that down just like that uh, college frat party happening. Oh, there's no be here, officer. Only kegs full of Sprite. So close Steam fully and go into your File Explorer and find your nice and shiny Steam folder. Now, 9 times out of 10, it is in your Program Files x86, and there she is. Now you want to find that nice crash handler.dll folder and delete it. Great, it's deleted. So you want to go into your recycling bin and permanently get rid of it. So here is the folder of it. So you want to find that, delete it, completely trash it, goodbye, get out of my life with like that one ex-girlfriend and turned out to cheat on you, fuck you, get out, and go and open up Steam again. Now this will force it to re-download it and hopefully this should do the trick. All right, so Steam just uh, finished reinstalling the file that we just deleted. Let's go get back and try it again. All right, so if that didn't work, time to grab ammo and supplies, lock and load, baby, we're getting to the big guns. So what you want to do is you want to fully get out of Steam again. So go right click, Tax Manager, find Steam Bootstrapper, and delete that. Gone, cool, task has ended. So I want to go back into your Steam folder that is under Program Files x86 again. Nice shiny Steam folder. And what you want to do is right here where it says Steam Apps, you want to go ahead and rename that to old underscore Steam Apps. All right. And then you want to close out and you want to reopen Steam. So as you can see, all of the games are uh, currently not available that were available before except for uh, these games because these are installed on my other hard drive. But other than that, all of your games are not installed. See so CSGO, no longer installed. All right, so what you want to do is you want to install this game again and installing it again, this will make another Steam Apps folder somewhere. It should be right in between, uh, right there, see? Another Steam Apps folder. So what you want to do is you want to launch that game. So after you launch the game and it works, what you want to do is you want to get back into your file manager, go back into your nice and shiny Steam folder, which happens to be located right here for me. Take all of the contents of your whole entire folder, all right, copy it and paste it into the new Steam apps folder that was just created. But however, if this did not work for you, you want to take that new Steam Apps folder, drop it like it's hot and get rid of that bitch. Go back to your old Steam App folders, rename it back to Steam Apps. All right, good. Then you want to close out of Steam again, fully close out of it. And then once you close out of Steam fully, you want to open it back up. And just like those Uncle Magic commercials you swore were done after 2007, all of your games are back. So this is a segment where we move into the multiple games not working. So let's say this isn't working, this isn't working, this isn't working, everything's working. Shit has hit the fan, code red. First things first, you want to see for any antiviruses on your computer. I happen to have no antiviruses because I like living on the edge and also I'm not an idiot and I know not to install viruses. So if you have any antiviruses that isn't Windows Defender because Windows Defender isn't doing anything, you want to get that out of there. So you can turn it off, uh, temporarily delete it, I don't care what you do, give it to your grandmother's dog. Disable it somehow and see if that works. If that works. Congratulations, you are a okay. But if that doesn't work, there might be a very high chance that it might be your graphics drivers. So what you want to do is you want to remove your graphic drivers. For AMD, you have this cool feature called AMD Cleanup Utility. You run that thing, your screen's gonna look like a potato for a little bit. You restart your computer and you reinstall the drivers, restart your computer again, and hopefully that will work. That's what worked for me. I went through all these steps, trust me. This was what worked for me. Now for uh, NVIDIA, I'm sure you have something similar like that. I personally have an AMD card, but I'm sure NVIDIA has something 
among those lines. All right, now if that didn't work, you might want to try rolling back your Windows. Like if you updated Windows recently, or if Windows has updated by itself because it has a little cheeky habit of doing that lately, Windows. Um, what you want to do is type in update in your search bar and go to Windows update settings, go to update history and recovery options. From here you can roll back your Windows update if it wasn't longer than 10 days ago and you can click that button right there and hopefully everything should be a-okay. Now if it was longer than 10 days maybe this wasn't the issue if your games were working before. Unfortunately this is all the help I can provide through my week of frustrations with the same frustrations you are having right now. Trust me I've been there. It sucks. I know. Worst comes to worst. If you have to uninstall a game folder like CSGO, I know you guys really want to keep their settings. So what you have to do is go into your nice shiny Steam folder again, which is right here. Now what you want to do is go into user data, go into your user settings, 730, local. This is your settings folder right here. You want to copy this, drag it back onto your desktop and reinstall the game. If none of this works, feel free to leave me a comment, tell me what is going on, and I will try to help you through it. And if I can't, you might have to go to the dreaded Steam support where you might have to wait on a Soviet Union breadline for about 17 years just to get the littlest amount of help and have Steam tell you, well, you're screwed. Well, I hope this has helped you. If it hasn't, leave a comment and I will try to help you and have just a swell day.